Hello everyone and welcome to one more video on Tana. Um, this time because on Slack someone asked, hey, can we use the new AI feature to search and find nodes? For example, get the information of the person in line ref in a node and find all of the to-dos linked to that person. Uh, and today I will show you how to do this. So the key to this is that you can sort of generate uh, in Tana, Tana paste um, sort of like a format to create a search node. So a search node is something like uh, when you do find nodes with tag, in this case, for instance, personal goal, and then let's say with the field goal for has uh, any value as a list. So in this case, you create a search node that will find all of these, um, uh, these elements based on the query. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something like this, like um, if I have a meeting with uh, myself, and let's see, I think this one is a goal for Arturo, uh, and Arturo. And let's see if we can convert something like this into convert something into something like this. Um, and the first part is to sort of like, okay, what would a search uh, for these things actually look like. So let's go into the query and say, hey, um, we don't want this. We want this to be a goal for, uh, for this and for Arturo. And I think then we're ready. It's probably, no, no, this will not, like this will run because now I think they need to be for both. Oh, no, this works. Okay, cool. And then we'll say these are, let's rename this and let's do goals. Now there's a new um, uh, feature here, it's copy as Tana paste. Uh, and if you actually paste that as code, you can see that how this works. So in this case, um, oh, it doesn't actually copy the search node. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, it would be cool if this actually copied the search node because then it would make this generation a little bit easier. Um, but it won't let us, uh, that won't let us stop us. So in this case, let's, let's continue on and let's try and generate this based on that. In order to do that, we're going to create a command. So get the commands that get goals for, let's convert this into a command node and let's ask an AI command and let's go into the prompt workbench to see how this works. We'll take this one and we'll put that here in the node to test with. And we'll use a custom prompt. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to convert this into a search query. So let's start by doing the, the tagging stuff. So this is a sort of like reminiscent of one of my earlier videos and how to get this uh, identified. Because if you actually run this command in its current form, if you put in this, what you see is that these are no longer tagged. Uh, so we'll need to start there. So first of all, uh, let's create, let's find nodes with tag uh, person uh, as a list. And given the following people, uh, and let's collapse this one. Now you can see that we have a immense list of all of the people, and this will work uh, as long as this doesn't go too far. Um, of course, if you have billions of people in there, this will become an issue. But if you are somewhat able to limit this, um, then uh, it will be fine. You can, you can specifically say like, hey, these are the people I use more often, but anything I think up to probably 100 or maybe 200 will still be fine. So given the following people, um, tag the people in the sentence below. Okay. And let's say that we do um, my, my, my favorite input is this, and what would the output be? Uh, and given we have this as the input, which will go there, let's see what the A comes up with. Okay, running request. So this seems to work. So now you can see that it converted the meeting with that between that and that. But um, the input, it, it has removed everything. So um, given the following people, tag the people in census, no. Um, replace the people in the sentence below um, with um, the ones from the list. Let's see if this works better. And I 
think then yeah so in this case we would have re uh, uh, done the same example as we did before so if i now run this you actually get a tagged version back originally it's not so useful but it's the base of how this works so instead of that we actually want to output a search node so given the following people um, output a tana search a node that finds all personal goals now in this case this is not really necessary but um, in, uh, let's let's go into seeing how this will work so if you want to create a search node it's quite simple you do uh, a dash and then a space and then percentage percentage search percentage percentage and then becomes a tricky part because now we need to actually create a search node so we'll go in and we'll say hey i want stuff that is a personal goal and that actually works like this it's a personal goal so in this case i'm saying hey i want everything with the tag personal goal and then i want that to be um oh, i actually don't want this to be a field so let's do it like this um goal four uh, yes and then i want uh, to have the name so let's say that this was a meeting with uh, let's say maria gonzalez there we go uh no gonzalez and then we copy this one and we put that we would want this here so this is what we actually would want to output in this case so now we're gonna say input and we're gonna take the name and let's see what the ai comes up with uh, let's put this on a separate one there we go let's see if it comes up with a search note mm -hmm. running the request there we go so it says a personal goal, a goal for Andre Fuken, personal goal, goal for Arturo Sanchez. So this is okay, but uh, in this case, it, it doesn't have an example what will happen if there's actually two people in that list. So let's also create an example for that instead of um, trying to say, hey, uh, how to do this. So let's say input uh, meeting with Maria. Uh, Gonzalez and let's say Pedro Sanchez oh, Sanchez yeah and we would expect our output to be something like this um, oh we cannot copy paste that let's do it manually then uh, again a search uh, let's go in Let's do a personal goal. And let's say this is, oh, I actually forgot our dash here. That's an important one. Uh, dash, and then the goal four, uh, double semicolon. And in this case, I wanna show that it's Maria that goes there. And the next one would be Pedro on this list like this and let's see what happens now what comes out there we go we get a search note for a personal goal and the goal is for andre or arturo okay so let's see if we can actually get this to run so if we get this to run get goals for now let's see it will generate the search note it will put it underneath and we can expand it and it doesn't work. Okay, so there's a couple of things happening here. First, the search node doesn't have a title. So let's fix that because this looks a bit bad. Actually, if you put the search node, the title after here, let's say goals, then that will show up as the title. So that's fine. Now let's see what's actually happening here. So in this case, oh, I've done that wrong. Actually, the format for a field is without this one. It's just uh, that one. I was a little bit confused with how it works. So if we go in, we can also see that now it's also quite easy to debug, like, oh, it generated something wrong. I simply adapt this one and let's do it again. And usually when I'm doing this stuff, it takes a couple of tries to get right. 
but eventually it will work and when it works you're done and of course this can expand to almost anything and these are just examples just make sure that these come sort of from the same list as the one you have here and naturally you can do this with personal goals or to do's or whatever you want again i will i will share um, this one as a template and uh, say share as template and let's copy that one and i'll put that in the description of the video thank you for listening